Hit it. Here's Chris Brockman with Sneaky Good Games. Contests likely to surprise you with their heretofore undisclosed competitive value. And the fact that Tom Brokaw is still doing, still doing it. this open still doing means it for us. Yeah. he's keen to hear from you yeah. how he can make some cold hard cash this weekend. It's no longer undisclosed. This is the value that we're talking about. Okay. All right, first up, let's go. Let's look at Cleveland at New Orleans. Talk about a team that needs a victory in the Saints, but I'm more focused on the over total here of 49. New Orleans shocked everybody last week by kind of sucking on defense. Look, they gave up 48 to Fitz Magic, which is only one off this week's total. Sunday, they welcome him a Browns team that scored 21 points in a rainstorm. And we've talked about all summer long how the Browns have lots of weapons on offense. And against the Saints team that was really exposed on defense last week, I think, look, I think we could hit this over total in the third quarter. I like a lot of points in this game, a lot of action, a lot of fantasy action going on, especially on the Saints side of the ball. This is going to be a really fun, fast, high-scoring game. All right. Next up, go ahead. All right, next up, Indianapolis at Washington. Now, Washington is laying five and a half, and I like that total. I'll tell you why. Andrew Luck is back. Obviously, that's good news for the Colts their fantasy options, et cetera. But their defense gave up 34 last week to Cincinnati and what looks like a pretty good Bengals team. And they're playing, I think, a really good Redskins team. Dominated uh, on the road last week. They come home now, home opener. Alex Smith is really solid, had himself a really fine day. Adrian Peterson talking about the all-time rushing record. Chris Thompson, they have a nice one-two punch there. And, And the Redskins defense did a really good job shutting down David Johnson last week made Sam Bradford look easily replaceable, and I like the Redskins minus five and a half. As you know, one of my downs this week was the Redskins can win the NFC East. I'm not willing to say just go. If, if I wanted to make it my fourth down hot take, I would have grabbed the plank to say that the Redskins will win the NFC East, which sure. is very, which would have been quite a. Uh, but they certainly looked like to a have just team. after one week. But they were. I did not think coming into the season that they could win that division. Now I think they have an absolute shot to do it. And Alex Smith is is the quarterback that I think Jay Gruden's been waiting for for a very long time. So we'll see what happens in this game. Last game. We'll get a Houston at Tennessee. I like the Texans this week. Minus two, two and a half, depending on where you get it. But I, I like them with this, no matter what the number is. I don't think we're getting two Watson stink bombs in a row. You don't, huh? I I think he needed that first game. It was a tough game at New England, a very improved New England defense, and and they still scored 20 points. Uh, He needed to shake the rust off, kind of get hit a few times coming back from that uh, knee injury. They still have Lamar Miller. DeAndre Hopkins is going to be more involved this week, and they need to keep pace in the south with Jacksonville, so they need a win. Meanwhile, Tennessee is really hurting. They struggled last week on the road at Miami. I know that was a weird game, and we really don't know what the Dolphins look like, but they really struggled. Mariota's banged up. Delaney Walker, his favorite target, is out for the season. Taylor Lewan protects his blind side, is also banged up. I see this being kind of an easy touchdown or so huh. victory for Houston. Those are Chris Brockman's sneaky good games. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.